Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I will be making a tutorial on how to make a better clicker simulator and yeah it's gonna be my old clicker simulator series just more advanced and at the end of the series I will have an uncopy locked game and at the end of each video I will have a model for everything I did this video but if you want to if you want to learn scripting then i'd recommend following along because it's easier to learn so what i'm going to do first is you need to download the plugin i have in the description or watch the video that's at the top right right now you're going to want to click this icon up here add a data store create a folder and name it leader stats and insert then you can close that and then go to server script service and go into data store store underscore data store and you can rename that to leader sets and in the leader sets folder we are going to add a number value and this is where we'll have rebirths clicks and gems so we're gonna name this one clicks we're gonna name this one clicks this one will be rebirths and this one will be gems so now we need to publish the game so we'll go to game settings save to roblox and we're gonna rename this clicker simulator or i'll just name it better clicker simulator for the tutorial and then you can press save it will load up a new game and then i'm gonna skip to when it's loaded once the new game is loaded you're going to want to go back to game settings you're going to want to go to security enable the first three and then press save and now if we play the game when we get in we will have these three stats up here we'll have gems rebirths and clicks and yeah, it'll automatically save all our data. So, what we are going to want to do is make a clicks button. Okay, so what we want to do is go to start a GUI, add in a screen GUI, and then add in a text button. Once you have the button inserted, you're going to want to take it down here and put it a good distance from the bottom. I'll do 50. And then let's change the size to... 100 comma 0 comma 100 and once we do that we have a good size for a button now we're going to want to change the text scale to true we're going to change the background color to a blue color or whatever color you want it to be and then we're going to add a ui corner which will give it those rounded edges like that and now i'm going to put in mouse emoji in the description and once you copy that you can go into the text button change text to the mouse emoji and then it will show up like that now we need to make it so that when you click it it gives you points so we're gonna have a local script and we're gonna do script parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function and we'll We'll keep it like that, and then we're gonna do local player equals game dot players dot local player, and then local clicks equals player dot leader sets dot clicks, and then we'll do local rebirths equals player dot leader stats. dot rebirths and now we are going to do if rebirths dot value is less than one then and in here we are going to do clicks dot value plus equals one so if they have zero rebirths then it'll only give you one click whenever you click. And now we're going to do an else if. 
And in the if statement, we're gonna do, so if player dot rebirth dot value is greater than zero then, and we already have the then in there. And then we're gonna go down here and do player dot clicks dot value or we can we can just do clicks dot value dot value plus equals rebirth dot value times two and now if we have more than one rebirth we will get two or if we have one rebirth we will get two clicks every time we click if we have two rebirths we'll get four clicks and so on before we test I did make one mistake. You do not need the player right here. So you can just backspace all that. And then now we're going to test. Okay, and now whenever you click, you'll get one click. And then if we go into players, off E242, leader stats, clicks, or no, rebir rebirths, and change it to 10, we should be getting 20 per click. And as you can see, we're getting 20 per click because we have 10 rebirths. If we change this to 2, we should be getting 4 per click. And now we're getting 4 per click. Maybe just 1. We'll be getting 2 per click. Next thing we want to do is create an area where the gems and clicks will show. So we are going to add a text label. Move this over here. And we are going to change the background color to a blue color, just like this. And we're going to change scale to true. We're going to go to the stroke and change stroke transparency to zero and stroke color to white. Now we're going to want to change the font to Fredoka one. And now we can add in a UI corner. And there we go. We have that right there. And we can add a text label into the text label and move it up just a bit. Move it and scale it in like that. And move it to the center of this. And we're going to change the background transparency to one. Text scaled to true. And then we're gonna wanna change the font to Fredoka one. Just like that. And we are going to want to change the text to clicks. And once it's changed, we can go over to the parent of the text label. We'll name this amount clicks. And then in here, we can change this to clicks label. And now we're going to want to change the text of amount clicks to no. And now that that's done, we can copy this. We're going to want to change this to amount gems. And we can delete that C right there. And in here, we are going to change clicks label to gems label. And we're going to select amount gems and bring it down to here. And we're going to change the gems label text two gems and we're gonna add a script into a mount clicks we'll add a local script and we'll do while wait do so it'll repeat this over and over script dot parent dot text is equal or is equal to and then we need to detect the player so we'll do local player equals game dot players dot local player and we'll have text equal to player player dot leader stats dot clicks dot to value and then now we will copy this paste it into here change the script of this to gems instead of cl clicks 
that'll always make the nil text equal to the amount of gems or clicks we have. So if we test this, and whenever we click, it will change to the amount of clicks we have right there. Even with the gems, if we go to players Afi 242 leader stats and change the gems to like 6, it'll automatically change it right there. And if we change rebirths to 10, this will also go up by 10, or 20, because we multiply it by 2. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want part 2. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.